Hello children. In a today's session, we will be discussing the household circuits topics. Especially here, we are going to discuss about the power supply. Children, in a power supply, you know, there are three stages. So, uh, we, we simply we are uh, using an uh, electric fan and a TV, a bulb, everything. But how you are getting that power to your house or my house, our houses. So, children here, there are three stages are involved. So, first one children here, power transmission, power transmission, what we will be discussing, I am telling you, power transmission and the second one, power distribution, power distribution, the third stage is wiring, how wiring is done. And here, of course, here we will be discussing mainly about the ring system only. Mainly, we will be discussing about ring system here. So, children, there are three stages. Then you may get a one doubt. Sir, okay, it's fine. How power is transmitted, we are going to learn. How power is going to be distributed, we are going to learn. How wiring is done so that we can use electric couplings, it's fine. But how we are getting a power? Children, from where we are getting power, children? We are getting power from, hmm, come on, tell me, power stations. But there, how electricity, how power is developed is a very, very important. Children, for that, you know, the common thing will be there. Actually, you know, of course, our intention is not to discuss how power is produced. Actually, our discussion is only power transmission, power distribution and wiring. But in one minute, we'll try to just, we'll try to understand actually. Children, if you can see here, you know, you know near our power stations. So, look at here, there will be like this. Two huge magnets will be there. Huge means huge magnets. It's a north and here is south. In between, a huge rectangular copper coil will be there. Huge rectangular copper coil will be there. Okay, na? So, fine. This will be output. This is a copper coil will be there. So, children, actually, Copper coil, simple, see again we are not going in depth actually, in simple terms I will tell you, in a simple, in a simple manner, single statement I will tell you, this copper, huge copper, huge rectangular copper coil to be rotated continuously in order to produce a power, that is okay. But who should rotate is a very, very important. Children, for this copper coil only, so here turbines are arranged, turbines are arranged, okay. When these turbines are rotated, copper coil is rotated but who should rotate the turbines because huge turbines will be there children and one more thing power means you know energy we cannot produce we can only transfer as we are getting energy electrical energy means what before it might be in other form that form to be converted into electrical form actually here children we know that water is stored in a dam the water which is stored in a dam has potential energy once the water is released then what will happen that will be moving with a velocity means that potential energy will convert into kinetic energy that water which is flowing is made to fall on these turbines made to fall on these turbines thereby what will happen this water has ability is capable to rotate the turbines as the turbines are rotating copper coil is rotated so that its power is generated and even thermal power stations what will happen here that coal is heated that coal is burned with that water is boiled, with that we will get water vapours, that water vapours are set to the turbines, again same story, somehow we have to rotate the turbines. And children do not forget one a very very important thing is that here, whatever the power which is developed is a AC only, it is alternate current, it is not DC. So one more thing ma, the voltage of DC current cannot be altered, you cannot increase the voltage, you cannot decrease the voltage of DC current. But AC current voltage you can increase or you can even decrease also. Okay, na? fine. So, this is how actually power is produced. Look at you children. First here, power production will be there. Okay, main, this is main. Then first stage is power transmission, we will learn. Then power distribution. Then we will learn wiring. Then we will learn. So, this is our today's topic. Okay, first we will try to discuss power how power is transmitted okay now we'll see the power transmission children uh, i'll try to show you the schematic diagram on just screen you can look at it so this is actually a schematic diagram and the stages how power is uh, transmitted 
so by seeing that no need to get confused no need to get tensed okay now just leave it first and children here let us discuss we will make it very simple so by seeing the diagram you know no don't get confused here so as i said that children here at a power generating station power with 11 kv and 50 hertz is generated it's very very important so let us see that Achha, before going to that children let us recall some basic points in order to understand so that we don't have any confusion in between when we are discussing the electrical power so what are those children we know very well that here resistance is proportional to the length of the wire okay length of the wire clear fine and we also need this formula here that is h is equal to i square rt i square rt what is this children it is the amount of heat which is produced when i current flows through a resistor of resistance r in a time t and we also know that here means which means from this children h is proportional to the as or i square which means what each line here more the current is flowing then more the heat is produced less the current is flowing less the current less the heat is produced so remember that this is a very 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 important point. so more if more current is involved then obviously more heat is produced it's a very very important part this we are going to get in between there you should not get a confused okay fine and here each line let us go back to the our power generating station go back to the power generating station so here is so a power generating station children power is generated with 11 kv and 50 hertz frequency 11 kv and 50 hertz frequency that is fine and here one important point which we have to discuss so in what method we transmit the electrical power generated at power station is very important children for that we have two methods first of all let us recall power expression here so power is equal to children here voltage into current voltage into current children so whenever so here we have uh, some stages so whenever you are what we can say uh, power transmission is taking place you know input power is always equal to the output power means power should not get wasted power remains constant it's very very important keep in your mind here so whatever you do whatever the method which you select to transmit the power so power loss should not be there i mean what power must be constant as power must be constant eh, children can you write like this vi is equal to constant yes vi is equal to always constant and as v i is equal to constant we can write here v is inversely proportional to the current v is inversely proportional to the current don't get confused by seeing this expression don't get confused here so whenever power remains constant it's very important children. whenever power remains constant here v is inversely proportional to the current i mean what more the voltage less the current less the voltage more the current here so here we have a two methods to transmit the power here let us see here children here the power for example power we can transmit two methods look at it this is very very important try to understand children children this is the main important point in the entire discussion Inter very very important very means very much important is okay now look at here means here you can high voltage less current less current is a one method and the second one is low voltage high current high current here we have two methods either you can send high voltage less current or less voltage high current so here first we should know high voltage less current means what will happen low voltage high current means what will happen then only we can choose which one we should adapt so as to send the electrical power so as to transmit the electrical power for that we will take a small example chill for suppose you want to send a power of 200 watt let us say example 200 watt we want to send just example i am telling you 
200 watt we want to send. So, how can we send children? We can send like this here. V is equal to 200 and I is equal to 1. Okay, na? so that also what will happen here? P is equal to 200 into 1. Answer is 200 only. R is 200 watt only. No problem at all. It is in volts. It is in amperes. Okay, fine. And I come to here. You can send V is equal to 1. Current is equal to 200. I can here also with this P as P is equal to V into I. 1 into 200. Here it is. 200 watt only. Children, here there is no problem. So, either you can take this method or this method. Yes, the power is, whatever the power which you are sending is 200 watt only. There, there is no problem. But then, where is the problem children here? Try to understand here. Here, more voltage involves less current. Okay. Whereas, less voltage involves high current. This is high current. So, according to Joule's law, that is H is equal to I square RT. So, beginning of this session only just we discussed the children. How heat produced is related to the current. So, H is proportional to the I square. This is very, very, very important. This is what actually we discussed. H is proportional to the I square. H is proportional to the I square. Now, if you can transmit the power in this method, that is high voltage, less current. So, with that equation children here, H is proportional to the I square, that is here H is proportional to the 1 square, 1 square. Whereas here children, H is proportional to I square, that is 200 square, 200 square. Of course, joules will get the joule. For a given time under resistance, H is proportional to I square. Now children here, in which case here, in which method, is the first method, second method, in which method more heat is produced, obviously in this method only, because here H is proportional to 200 square, here H is proportional to just 1 square, so obviously in this second method what will happen, more heat is produced, then you make it a one note, so what sir if more heat is produced, children our intention is what, to send the power, means here for suppose, 5 watt power you are sending okay na? so you will expect 5 watt power to reach the destination right so if it happens here what will happen you know most of the electrical power is converting into heat energy that is sent to the atmosphere it is no use it is a useless means what will happen there will be a huge power loss huge power loss children try to understand here means here again i'll tell you i'll tell you low voltage involves high current, low voltage involves high current, high current involves more heat production, more heat generation, more is a heat generated, more is a power loss, more is a power loss, means here, here less power loss, here more power loss, now you decide, children, now you decide, which one we should follow, do you expect, do we expect a more power loss children, no, power should not get wasted power should not get wasted. So, for that we are going to select this one children. So, this is the best method for a power transmission. I repeat once again. What is the best method for a power transmission children? So, it is a high voltage less current. So, this is a very very important point which we should understand. Hope it is clear. Can I erase this? Just copy it. I will erase it. Okay. Now, let us come back to the our discussion power generating station. Children, as I said that at a power generating station here, what is happening here? Power with 11 kV and 50 Hz is produced. Again, here we will get a one doubt. Why can't we produce a power with less than 11 kV? Children, just now we discussed what happens if power with a less voltage, power with a less voltage involves more current. More current, more heat is produced more heat is produced, more power loss. That is what we do not generate less than this 11 kV. And why can't we generate it more than this? Let us see that also children. So, before that, we need to understand one more, we need to know about a, one important device children. That is called transformer. That is what actually transformer, very, very important. Transformer. It is a transformer children. Children here, we have two types of transformers. 
we have a two types of transfer it is step up transformer and step down transformer step up and step down transfer first of all children what is the transformer here so children it is not a device which will give you power sorry it is wrong so here transformer is not going to give a power rather what it will do children so it is like a you know mediator i can say that means what it will do Tr transformer will alter the voltage of the input power it's very important means transformer has the ability to increase the voltage or to decrease the voltage so here that's what we said here there are two types of transformer here what happens here step of transformer which increase which increase the input voltage whereas step down transformer will decrease the input voltage so regarding this transformer what is the transformer how does it work how it is constructed everything we will be learning in electromagnetic chapter not here but here just we should understand what is a transfer what is the purpose of transformer children transform is a device which is used to alter the voltage here there are two types of transformer step up transformer step down transformer step up transformer will increase the voltage whereas step down transformer will decrease the voltage so this is very important to understand so because you know in every stage we'll be using the transformers only to alter the input voltages children here now here what are the power generated station power generated with 11 kv children so it is sent to the it is sent to the grid substation it is sent to the grid substation so look at here and here the grid substation what will happen you know the power with 11 kv is okay increase to 132 kv 132 kv then how can we increase children yes just we discuss about transformer here we are going to use step of transformer step up transformer here so with the help of step of transformer we are increasing the voltage from 11 kv to 132 kv then immediately we will get doubt actually sir why to increase the voltage so there at power generating station itself only we can generate power with a 132 kv right yes you are right we also can generate we also can generate but the problem is that high voltage causes many insulation difficulties so very important children here why not less than 11 kv less voltage involves more current more power loss why not more than this more voltage causes insulation difficulties that's what we will generate with 11 kv only and rather by using step of transformer we will increase the voltage up to 132 kv 132 kv and from here children whatever the power with 132 kv voltage okay na so this is sent to the main substation again here station and here what we'll do you know whatever the 132 kv power is there that is decreased to children it is 33 kv 33 kv then how can we decrease the voltage children yes by using step down transformer step down transformer here step down transformer with the help of step down transformer we can decrease the voltage to 33 kv and here why we have why we need the 33 kv children here many heavy industries which we have which can work with 33 kv so they have a special license here means they will get a special permission from the government to run the heavy industries to run the heavy industries children here they need here power with the 33 kv only. means whatever the 33 kv is generated children it is sent to the, to the heavy industries from here so again from here main substation children here what are the power with the 33 kv is sent to the intermediate substation and here at intermediate substation day children what are the 33 kv voltage is there that is reduced to the 11 kv that is reduced to the 11 kv how can we reduce again it is step down transformer here again it is step down transformer we are using here step down transformer 
and children so this 11 kv voltage power with 11 kv voltage region it is supplied it is supplied to the uh, small industries children of course we may not use uh, power with this much voltage 11 kv but whereas if you can think about big big shopping malls big big theaters okay na so they don't run with a very less voltage right so here this 11 kv power is sent to the small industries children it is sent to the small industries which can work with a 11 kv which can work with 11 kv children so from here intermediate substation children it is sent to the it is sent to the city substation where power is reduced from 11 kv to 220 voltage 220 voltage again by using what actually step down transformer again by using step down transformer only again by using step down transformer only we will reduce the power voltage from 11 kv to 220 volts so whatever the power which we got 220 volts so this is supplied this is supplied to the what we can say homes and for our needs actually this is what we are going to use so from here it is supplied let us say it's homes it is supplied to the our homes here it is supplied to the our home our houses whatever so called and here don't forget that one important so what are the power which we are getting the children that is 220 volt comma 50 hertz frequency there won't be any change in the frequency 50 hertz 50 is very 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 important so look at here with what is power generated at power generated station so power with 11 kv and 50 hertz is generated but whereas at the end at the end we are going to use power with 220 volts and 50 hertz only. it's very very important the frequency at a power generating station and at the consumer near the consumer that is near the houses whatever we are getting the frequency is same only that is 50 hertz only so children this is how actually power transmission will take place power transmission children once again i'm telling you here here we have to understand one very very important why are we not producing the power with a high voltage power with a high voltage causes insulation difficulties why are we not producing the power with a low voltage so low voltage involves more more current more current involves more heat production more heat production causes more will be the power loss so in order to reduce the power loss only we are not producing power with a less voltage and in between we are using the transformers what is the purpose of transformer to alter the voltage there are two types of transformers step up transformer step down transformer here so here step up transformer we will use to increase the voltage whereas step down transformers we will use to decrease the voltages and here to here why we increased why we increase the power already we discussed what is the best method to transmit the power high voltage and low current high voltage only we have to send always power with high voltage why high voltage involves less current less power loss less current less power loss so children this is how actually power transmission will take place now we will discuss power distribution children now here we are getting right near home actually so what are the so called power which you are getting from power generating station children it is you may get one doubt sir why these things are needed all these things so here what is the power which we are getting so it won't be near to our station right it is somewhere else far from that so these are the stages how it is transmitted now we will discuss after which near our home we are getting a power from here that is from here to here is a part one is so from here is a part one that is a power transmission now part two is what power distribution so from this ending again we are going to continue just you copy this in a neat manner just you copy it we will discuss how power is distributed okay just copy it children now we will see the power distribution so till now we discuss how power is transmitted children finally what happened well, finally what is happening from power station to grid substation from there to main substation from there to intermediate substation from intermediate substation to city substation and here don't forget that it is 220 volt and 50 hertz frequency okay now how it is distributed is a very important children 
and here from directly some CD substation to it is you can see here three connecting wires will be there here shouldn't here uh, for sake of R comfort I use three colors this is old convention it is not a new convention according to old convention you know live wire with red color neutral wire with a black color this is live wire it is neutral wire and it is the earth wire okay na? there are three wires which we are going to use for a power distribution purpose okay na? so from electric pole dear children from electric pole directly we don't get directly you cannot take a wire and you cannot operate electric appliances rather what will happen you know before going to give a connection to the kwh meter what is this children meter electric meter if you can notice you know in every house it will be there so this is to measure the electrical energy which we are going to consume so this we discuss in a electrical cost okay now this we discuss in detail about you know in a current electricity okay fine now here so the very important thing is children here before going to give a connection to this kwh meter that electric department people they will arrange one fuse here children what base it is arranged see you are going to use the power for a commercial purpose or not is very important you are going to construct a house you are going to construct apartment you are going to construct any theater so depends on that only this rating will be there so for an average 10,000 watts for example you are going to use a 10,000 watts for that an average here the, the fuse with 50 ampere is arranged this is called here company fuse means only department authorities only will have what is that right to handle it means what does it mean what is the current rating of the fuse children so the fuse with 50 ampere can accept only current up to 50 ampere then what will happen if more current is passing through it then it will get fused so the circuit gets disconnected so it has a capability to allow the current up to only what we can say 50 amperes so from here these three wires connected to the kwh meter if you can see here this is local earthing is done children here near the meter here local earthing is done local earthing is done here so regarding local earthing how it is done what is the purpose and everything in the next session we'll be discussing it is not important okay fine again from here dear children these three wires here except except earth wire here live wire and a neutral wire so it is a live wire and a neutral wire both will be sent given connection to the main switch so very very important here this main switch only children here main switch is also called as double pole switch double pole switch very important question it is double pole switch why we are calling it as a double pole switch what is the purpose children now whatever the normal switches which we are using they are single pole switch which means what they will disconnect only live wire but here if you can see dear children here okay now so with the help of this main switch you can disconnect you can disconnect live wire and as well as neutral wire and here one question comes sir why we need to discuss live wire and a neutral wire then first we should know what is the purpose of live wire what is the purpose of neutral wire children the very important thing is that here live wire is at 220 potential 220 volts potential Student, it's high potential where what about here neutral and earth wire these will be at a local substation connected with a common point both will have same potential that is zero potential very very important children so here neutral wire is zero potential only earth wire is zero potential only here only we will get one doubt sir as live wire is at a high potential it must be disconnected then as we know that neutral wire also at a zero potential only then why we need to disconnect is a question here so actually in general it is not needed actually but it is needed what is this confusion look at each other for suppose it is not disconnected let us think only live wire is disconnected only live wire is disconnected then what do we think we think that yes no power and we can handle but children sometimes what may happen here somehow somehow if new live wire will come in contact with this neutral wire somehow it may come in contact with the neutral wire then what will happen though here it is disconnected children that power will means that neutral wire will be at a higher potential then you can handle without proper uh, precautions you know we may get electric shock so that is the reason we must disconnect we must disconnect 
न्यूट्रल वायर एंड एज वेल एज लाइवर अगर हम चलेंगे हियर मेन स्विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डबल पोल स्विच वॉट इज पर्पज इट्स पर्पज इज टू डिस्कनेक्ट लाइवर एंड न्यूट्रल वायर एट द सेम टाइम अगेन फ्रॉम हियर डी चिल्ड्रेन इट इज गिवेन टू दी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बॉक्स सो इन आर हाउसेस यू विल हैव अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बॉक्स वेयर यू नो यू विल हैव ऑल एम सी बीज मीनिएचर सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर्स बिफोर वी यूज टू यूज एक्चुअली फ्यूजेस नाउ इन द सेम प्लेस मीन्स फ्यूजेस आर रिप्लेस बाय एम सी बीज मीनिएचर सर्क्यूट ब्रेकर्स सो फ्रॉम हियर चिल्ड्रेन यू कैन सी हियर अगेन इट इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड हियर सो लाइवर अर्थ वायर न्यूट्रल वायर लाइवर अर्थ वायर मीन्स फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन टेक ए कनेक्शन यू कैन टेक ए कनेक्शन टू रिफ्रिजरेटर you can take a connection to the fan you can take a connection to the bulb it depends depends where everything is needed where everything is not needed okay na so children this is how actually power distribution will takes place but here again that wiring we have to think here wiring means how the wiring is done how the connections are done so for that actually we have two methods children one is we have pre system another one we have ring system so in detail not in detail in a shortcut we will see so what is a tree system what is a ring system and which one is the best method to make a, you know in a proper manner so that we will have more advantages okay just you copy this first then we will discuss about tree system and ring system now we will discuss about wiring children so till now we have discussed two stages the first one is power transmission so power has come to the our city substation okay na from there to again power distribution happen from there how power is distributed to our distribution box then from distribution box the children how the connection must be taken how the wiring is done actually for this we have two methods two systems we have one is tree system another one is ring system you can see here so before going to understand about ring system once again let us see what actually tree system is actually now it is not there tree system was there okay na so tree system was actually is a conventional one it was old one old system whereas ring system is a new one so what is the tree system children why that name is given you know just just recall once again tree so for how for a same tree you know how branches will go similarly connections are taken from that wiring so let us see that first one tree system children this is not there even in syllabus also but let us try to understand what actually tree system is children here in tree system what will happen you know for example it is a distribution box let us say it is a distribution box distribution box this is a distribution box for example here it is outside will be there out of okay now it is one room and it is one more room like this two rooms you have okay in this room you want to this side you want to put one bulb then what we should do you know we must take connection from distribution box so from here connection must be established okay here this side you want to put a one fan fan something like that again you must take special connection from distribution box only again here you want to put a one tv okay connection must be taken like this for example here you want to adjust one more bulb special connection must be made here you want to put one fan in this room again must be taken means for example if 10 electric appliances are there in your house 10 connections 10 new connections must be taken from distribution box only okay it is not so easy so then what are the problems with this means like a like a branches it is going you know each and everything like a special individual branch like that will go the first problem with the tree system is that the children because of this the length of the wire required is more length of the wires which we are using children for connection purpose might be live wire neutral these three wires three wires length see for every time you have to get from uh, what we can say this box distribution box means the length of the wire increases means it causes more expense more expense it is expensive tree system is first one and the second one is dear children as we know that as the length increases length of the wire increases resistance also increases as the resistance increases what will happen dear children heat produced also increases heat produced increases there will be a huge power loss so in this system we have huge power loss also 
the second point and third one children here means here for example here it is a bulb which uses 0.6 amperes current example tv it may use 0.8 amperes current example i am telling you may use geyser it may use for example 5 ampere current example i am telling means here different amounts means different electric appliances will use different amounts of current you cannot use all identical wires which means what you cannot use the wires with the same thickness so there is a thickness also matter thickness so as thickness increases again what will happen to children it will become more costly okay na? so because of these reasons only we are not at all using three system rather we are going for a ring system okay now fine now we will see what actually ring system is how it is better over tree system let us see children ring itself again will give you the concept it's like a ring okay no? ring means you may get loud so ring means like a circle shape no? okay in that format only but here four sides will be like this so in this system what will happen in our children first live wire neutral earth wire. these three wires that connection is taken from distribution box from that these three wires will go around the room till it is a room it is a completely room let us it is completely room it is it is a one room so they are going around the room like this in every room in every room live earth neutral this all will go around the room again we will come back to distribution box so the circuit is completed now for example let us see in this room i want to put one bulb here look at here here one bulb is arranged but i have not taken i have not taken connection from the distribution box right here only from here live wire i have taken and from neutral wire i have taken and arranged bulb over okay fine and if i want to arrange a socket here to use a refrigerator or a geyser or something again i am not taking here try to understand i am not taking connection from the distribution box here itself in this wall these three wires are going right so here it is like you know live wire earth wire and neutral wire the, from here only connection is taken it is very easy if this for example is the second side here you want to arrange a tv for example here you want to keep a tv for the tv connection is needed now uh, what a power connection is needed you no need to take from distribution box from here itself you can take so like this happens in each and every room due to this what will happen you, you know children once the system is arranged you no need to take every time connection from the distribution box so that what will happen you no need means we you in the sense we we do not require much means the lengthy wires so that what will happen this will become the costly yeah no so the tree system was costly but it's not costly it's a cheap it will become cheap it's a very very important thing and one more thing dear children in this system every electric appliance has its own fuse and a switch so that what will happen if any problem is there if any problem is there you know there itself you can do the repair you can do the repair okay fine and one more very very important thing about a ring system is that children just you can copy so that we'll discuss uh, one more important uh, point regarding this okay no? i think i can erase this part okay no? fine this part i can this look at here children for suppose for suppose look at here this is ring system or three wires let us imagine okay now here okay so look at here and here you make it a one out so what does this symbol means children for example one live wire is going like this but here neutral wire is going like this what does it mean it means that physically two wires are not in contact for example now you can see look at here you can see these two markers feel like in at contact if you can see but if you can see properly they are not in contact so like that that is a symbol actually which we use in a electric circuits much so look at here for example here it is carrying the current for example let us say here you, you arrange one bulb you arrange one bulb which uses 0.6 amperes current let us say 0.6 amperes current children here 0.6 amperes current is coming but if you can see here you can find two paths for current so here 0.3 amperes current will go like this here 0.3 amperes current will go like this so due to which what will happen whatever the wiring wire which you are using in this ring system it has to carry less current it has to carry less current only children try to understand here thickness depends on the amount of current which it, it has to carry 
more I mean thicker wire carry more amount of current what a very thin wire will carry less amount of current of course it needs 0 0.6 only finally but here two parts are there it it has to carry 0 0.3 ampere it has to carry 0 0.3 amperes current only so for this we no need to use thicker wires in a ring system rather you can use thin wires only as in the place of thick wires you are going to use thin wires again it will become the cost will become less so that's what in a ring system ring system is cheaper than the tree system okay children so because of these reasons means connection of estab means uh, establishment of a new connections will become very easy okay na? and it is a more cheaper than the tree system okay children so this is how actually wiring can be done fine and after this day children so in a previous chapter when we had a discussion about the resistors so we learned that resistors can be connected in series and the parallel but in our house children how the okay after wiring is okay fine correct only but here we have two methods right series connection we have parallel connection we have which one is better here let us see one second children here so here let us see first of all parallel connection and next let us think about a series connection here series connection children in a parallel connection what will happen for example here is coming like this it is a bulb and here is let us say fan okay no? it might be tv it might be tv so these all are connected parallel like this these all are connected parallel like this okay no? so here is so here what will happen every electric appliance has its own switch and fuse whereas same three electric appliance here bulb it is fan again it is tv now think like this here there will be a common switch common switch so in a parallel connection children the first point is that as every electric appliance has its own switch so what are the electric appliance which you want to use if you can turn on that means what will happen if power is coming like this power supplies are like this so you can use individual electric appliances according to your need but whereas when you come to series connection to children all electric appliances are connected in the same path so can be operated with one single switch here can be operated so if you want to use only one bulb other two also are in use only so with that power loss will be there the first point and the second one is that children for example here now all are in use let us say somehow what happened you know this bulb got fused it is not working it doesn't matter a fan tv also will be working will be working but whereas here if you can see here for suppose okay now all are working but somehow this bulb got fused means what happened here connection got disconnected children so there is no more power supply then what will happen if one electric appliance stop working other electric appliance also stop working only okay na? this is a main fun fundamental uh, uh, difference between parallel and series that's what dear children we are following the parallel connection in our electric in our house what are the electric appliances all are connected in parallel only but not in series generally where we can see the series connection you know during any festivals you know you can say any temples or a masjid or any churches you know they will decorate with the bulbs series bulbs they are all series bulbs do you think that there every small bulb has its own switch is not like that once only all bulbs can be operated off or on actually there we can use this series connection okay children fine so these are the topics here again i am telling you we discussed this three stages in a power supply ma how power is transmitted how it, how power is distributed and how wiring is done in our houses okay in the next class we will be discussing about uh, fuse earthing and especially we will be discussing about you know that whatever the wiring especially live wire neutral wire and how socket will work how switch will work how dual switch work that topics will be discussed in next class thank you so much all the very best